started. All right. Oh, here we go. I Let's know. Let's get to it. Hometowns. <laughs> Did you do anything fun this weekend? Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Well, me and no, I don't hang out with my ex on the weekends. Uh, just <laughs> Ever. <on> weekdays. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when it's gotcha. limited time. But gotcha. Um, gotcha. I went to this Italian place and I drank wine. And... Oh yeah, I talked to you this weekend for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. You you went to uh and then you we went were to at bars Hopsmith. that you normally go during the night and you were like, what the fuck? Oh I... yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopsmith. And I said that's the top I floor of Hopsmith the... had the like the windows. I was like, I never knew these were up here. And the bartender was cracking up. <laughs> I messaged you. I was like, this is like a point of, you know, you're getting old is when you go to places you're so used to at night during the daytime, the day drink. It was nice in there during the day. I, I was like, this is like, I did not know it was this cool in here. <laughs> Most places when you go during the day that you enjoy at night, you're like, wow, I can, I feel this one. Yeah. I could hang out here during the day. I like day drinking. It's better. <laughs> yeah. Other than that. No. Oh. Oh, I thought my niece was coming downstairs. All right. Uh, yeah, I agree. Day drinking, especially getting older, it's definitely better. But yeah. all right. So you did that. Let's get into it, though. Yeah. Hometown dates. Um, Susie. Perfect. Susie first one. She's in Virginia. Uh, they did jujitsu training. Um, Clayton actually had a little sense of humor for the first time, maybe all season when they cracked the shrimp joke. I was like, oh, wow, Clayton, you aren't just a true ogre, maybe 95%, not a hundred. I don't know. I, at that point though, when I heard that shrimp joke, I was like, oh my God, here we go again. Like, yeah. But you, but honestly, I mean, in their defense, like it, they couldn't uh, get away from it. Shrimp seemed to just always pop up. It's ironic. Yeah. It's fun. But uh, yeah, jujitsu training, which honestly, like if I did that with a girl on a hometown day, I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? I didn't know you. It was kind of weird. Me. It would kill me. Yeah. 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 I Susie, I was like, damn, she will fuck you up. <laughs> but that's not what I thought Susie would do for a hometown day. It would be jujitsu training. And then she had like a blue belt or something, which means she like does it like. I don't know what a blue belt is, but she doesn't just it's not her first time. That's for sure. Which <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, that's not what yeah. I expected. Um. But then they went and met the family. I thought her and her family were pretty cool. I thought they got along pretty well, too. Everything was perfect. Like yeah, everything. honestly, yeah. So. Which, which makes me think, like, it's too perfect, so there's no way it would work out, right? No. Like, like it won't work out because it's too perfect. Those never work out. No. Do you have anything like... else? This, I mean, did you have anything else? <laughs> I just it? don't like, agree with you. <laughs> you. You do think it would work out? Yeah, I think they're perfect for each other. I, I don't know. I think, I think they're that, perfect for each other. Yeah, I mean, I think she's not skipping ahead. I think she's number two, in my opinion. I think they are good for each other. I just think it is too perfect. Like, I think it is too perfect. Like, I think she might freak out that he had sex with everyone in dips for sure gabby might yo if gabby makes it to top two i'll scream but she but. definitely uh she definitely fucks him too i know but she literally made the comment in the no, preview, I, know, I, I know. never I'm thought i had to say to my future husband and not like have sex with someone else <laughs> which is a fair point but also like uh... you know what you signed up for right that's why I'm saying she might like be so icked out by it. She might no, get the I know. so I agree. bad she's out. If there's one of the three, because obviously that happens to one, right? Like, I mean, or I think from the previews, that's what we would assume. She would definitely be the one to do that. Right. But like, like I said, it's like, you know what you signed up for. Now her point is like valid, right? Like it is valid, but it's also like, you're not dating just normally. Yeah. Right. Okay. But, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, they are good together. I, I I did. I agree with you. Like, I, I thought the whole family thing was just like her dad's super cool. Like, they seem like people that like you, you know, 
it seemed like they're very easily to get along with. So it just seemed like it they're went normal very well. people. They're all yeah, good for people. Sure, for yeah, sure, for sure. I was tweeting about normal that people. last night. The way that her dad, I said, I tweeted last night how her dad was like protective of her in like a teddy bear kind of way. I was like, they're just all so nice. Yeah. Like I understand how Susie <laughs> is the way she is. And like her parents were like, she's even tr- like teaching us how to be better people every day. Right. I was like, oh my God, like this whole family is like, oh my god they're all just so nice <laughs> and and she did the thing of uh or her dad said the thing of uh like you know we her judgment is so good we take what she says as go it's kind of like like and she is such a good person her dad like had a few examples and whatnot and it's like she just seems like a just a down-to-earth like like you said good people and there's nothing like really else to say about that i guess yeah it all just went great like yeah like it, yeah, that's it, wasn't it. like, like no period thing yeah exactly all right so then move on gabby second date they go to denver colorado um she mentioned it that i thought was kind of crazy and i'm in like a bunch of these different groups that i post it and they s- upload pictures she was a cheerleader for the denver Broncos for a little bit i thought that was oh, like, really not yeah did not expect gabby to be a cheerleader for the denver broncos but she was um they went hiking and all that kind of stuff uh she was like really shocked that clayton knew like adventurous stuff and i'm like he's an ogre that's like probably all he does <laughs> he, he lives in a swamp girl what do you yeah. mean <laughs> i know like when she was saying that i was like I don't, what do you mean like that 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 he seems like the guy that would go hiking with his family i yeah i just i i am so ready for this to be <laughs> so i don't have to keep watching his fucking ogre ass like yeah he's like also an athletic dude like you know it it just makes sense that he's an athletic dude right right he would like do that kind of stuff but you're wait where is he from again oh minnesota right missouri oh it's missouri yeah there's no hiking in missouri he's out here husking with his parents in the backyard no okay okay but like he's the guy that has been hiking like he has been hiking He's out here herding cattle. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe, I guess. But, all right. Then, Farmer. you know, Gabby's dad's going through cancer. Sucks for her. And he wasn't able to be at the meet and greet. Um, it Think, was her grandpa was and it her, uncle. Her, her dad or her dad's girlfriend that had the cancer? Her dad, I thought. I thought it was her dad's girlfriend. I don't know. Oh, maybe don't it is quote her us on this. <laughs> yeah, it's one yeah, or the okay. other. But her yeah. dad or her dad's girlfriend had cancer. And then the so he met the grandpa, the aunt, uncle, and a cousin. Um, immediately what one of the things I took away from this one though was like how goofy she is and stuff, which I, I think she's pretty yeah. funny. You can totally tell she gets that from her grandpa. Like completely gets that from her grandpa. Yeah, he her was like family. pretty funny and goofy like that. Uh, what do you think about that date? I I liked everything about it too. Like at the same time, it went really well, but like at her family they said something about it too they're like she has her walls up and they said that she's like letting them down and stuff but it's like it might be a little too late now at this point in the season to like yeah 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 for sure um i did think like you know uh everyone always asks and like i'll stick up for clayton on this point it's like how are you not gonna hurt my girl and it's like dude like you are on a show where only one gets picked he dates 30 women okay they're going to be girls that are get hurt. I get it's a question you have to ask, but like, it's also like, dude, you can't expect him to be like, well, I'm not going to, cause he just can't flat out say that if he yeah. does say that, like, so it's like a tough position for him, but I thought her, her grandpa was funny and her grandpa was cool and whatnot. Um, and yeah, then her I mean, dad, I, her dad rolling up, which was very sweet. With the, the posters though. I was like, Oh my God, these bachelor producers have just gone way too fucking yeah. far with this one. Like, I'm happy her dad agreed to do it, but like, God, that probably killed him. But he knew that would have made it made her happy. That's literally sure. the only reason that guy did that shit. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I mean, yeah, it, it's just like, yeah, the producers were definitely trying to like make like it a movie and whatnot. But, you know, yeah, it was, it was just a nice weird. little gesture. But, uh, I think you tweeted this last night. Gabby and him kind of feel like more of like best friends. And I agree with you. They don't seem like besties wife energy. and husbands. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, it's just like, I don't know. She obviously, so. <laughs> whatever, skipping forward. Like, since she stays, like, he obviously wants to bang her. So, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Maybe there's, there's something stuff there. That we don't Maybe see, she yeah. told him that she was a former Denver's 
uh, Denver yeah, Broncos cheerleader, true. and he was like, "Ooh, since wasn't and, he in the NFL or whatever?" No, I think he he just played in college, but still, I mean, obviously, oh. he played cheerleader. Football. Yeah, football. It's like a football football boy kink. Right, that's what I'm saying. So, like, maybe I mean that's still like a thing. Um, moving on, Serene, Oklahoma City. Uh, this whole day, I was just, same with Gabby in a way too. I was just like kind of somber. It was like bittersweet watching it because they like make me so happy and like both of the dates went pretty well. But I was like, you guys just like aren't it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, like watching Susie and Rachel's dates, it's like they're so far above Serene and right. Gabby. Yeah, it, like you could, like you said, you like can you could tell. tell yeah, you can you have, tell. you've been able to tell for weeks now that Susie and Rachel are the front runners. Like for literally, sure. Rachel got the group date rose at like multiple group dates. Like they were mentioning that on her uh, family, like me and Greet thingy, too. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Serene, I, yeah, I don't know. It was just kind of like a wild or not a wild it was just like kind of like a weird date they didn't seem like it seemed like that you know awkward first date that like the girl was like super adventurous and was like hey let's go to the carnival like and see how it is and then it's like it's just kind of just like eh yeah like it's a first date vibe but um you know met met her family oh and, whoops. uh we skipped rachel but like oh wait we'll go to rachel we... last rachel's yeah. last oh, okay. um you could tell her brother did not like clayton right yeah she Which, yeah she i tweeted this i was like he seemed straight through his ogre energy and she's like come on like he's like figure it out come on i'm like seeing straight through this shit like why can't you see straight through it like i'm trying to help you out here girl and he said it in like the nicest way though like are you sure in a in that kind of way <laughs> yeah in that whole conversation though like when he are you talking about when he said uh the i love you part or no, when he was, when Serene was talking to her brother. Oh, when, okay. But when Clayton was talking to her brother and he was like, are you in love with her? And he's just like, I haven't said it to anyone. You could tell right there. He was like, I'm done. Yeah. This guy, no yeah. go for me. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was just after seeing him go send her home. Like last week, I thought Gabby was going home. Obviously she didn't. Serene went home. But after watching that hometown date, like I kind of was, I I was like, yeah, Serena's going, Serena's going home now. Yeah, yeah, no. So I said, yeah, Serena's brother is like, I can see through this ogre stuff. Please just see through it too. And Serena's yeah. like, but yes. what if, like, yes. like yes. that was the whole conversation. Conversation. She was like, yeah, I mean, I could see how that could potentially happen, but like, right. what if it could be the best thing that's ever happened? Yeah. Like, you and know, you it tell was. He was just sitting there, like, it's not going to. So yeah, he's just yeah. like, be realistic for a second. Like, you got. I'm trying to let you down easy at this point, girl. Like, there's still three other women left. Like, for sure. And. And, and that's being a him, that's being a sibling yeah, yeah but also i think he was just being realistic because like i think after talking to him he did not get the sense of like oh this guy's head over heels for you and yeah. he's not head over heels for you and then you have to also throw in that there are three other women here right. so like that's kind of a tough pill to swallow um moving on then uh the last one is rachel, rachel in florida right. rachel i thought right away when they saw each other and she started talking about him, I'm like, my goodness, she is full blown in love with this guy. And She's obsessed would do, with him. Obsessed with him. She's obsessed. obsessed with him. And I was like, my goodness, like, wow, okay. I didn't like, I knew she liked him, but that was not what I thought. Um, I, I was tweeting like because of their whole day, they went to that kissing tree and like they literally were just making out the whole time and i was just like i fucked if there wasn't a camera there. i know i was like that's why she's for sure making it to fantasy suites because like they're they for sure want to bang like <laughs> they're every for sure single, going every to every single time clayton makes out with someone and i don't like pda as a person either like i hate if i'm dating someone i don't like pda like i just myself i don't like it he feels like the guy who hates it too when he's with Rachel, that goes out the window. He yeah. is ready to full blown fucker on the sand. Like, and yeah. I'm like sitting there, like, damn. Like when he was making out with Serene, he, you could tell he was like, all right, cameras on me. I want Not this as to stop. Into it, yeah. yeah. Like, and it, and then like it went to her, and it was like, damn. He's like 
fucking tongue punching her and like wow this is getting into it and rachel obviously like i said would throw her clothes off in a second I yeah mean, you, yeah i oh my god so like it's like it, that's what i'm saying though is like when you watch that and then you I'll watch just, his date with like gabby or serene it's like okay these it's not even close it's I'll, like yeah i'll never understand how anyone finds him attractive in any capacity like i'll just never well, rachel understand. clearly <laughs> does she's obsessed. obsessed it's like it's disgusting they went, they went kayaking um in florida and then they said like all the gators and that shit look i'm gonna be honest i know you don't get to pick the dates as a guy but like if a girl was like that's what we're doing i'd be like no i'm out i'm out i'm not i'm not fucking doing this i'm not fucking <laughs> kayaking with gators right there you see that fucking spider that they showed fucking yeah snakes too get the hell out of here no yeah we can walk florida this trail. is the scariest no. state not only the people but the wildlife like that shit is wild down there <laughs> the people and wildlife go together i mean there's a reason for it right um <laughs> and then they move on to her family they met her guy best friend her girl best friend her mom and her dad her mom and dad seem like the typical like dad's an asshole so they're like no super they're nice, super like, italian they're a super italian family it all makes sense like they kept talking about how they're super italian and the dad's like super protective and yeah the mom's just like let me help you like the hospitable like mother like that's yeah, just nice right. it's just an italian mom like make sure everyone's True. happy like it's just I, literally I I was like this is why I love Rachel I don't know I love Italian people so fucking much <laughs> I'm drawn <laughs> to them like literally I was like this is it all makes sense now why I love Rachel like I've wanted to party with this girl since episode one like <laughs> now it makes sense but yeah no her dad though I was before they even got to talking I was like he looks like someone who's kind of gonna go in on him and he was like he was fair like honestly everything he said he wasn't like crazy at all like no he, was, he wasn't he was being realistic and like firm with him but he was like doing it in a good way he actually you know i said earlier about the thing like obviously you're gonna break someone's heart you're dating four fucking women at once um yeah. he actually was just like no i get it like you do have three other women you know and like so that's like where the tough part comes into it so how do you if you do let rachel go how do you let her go to make her still feel like you know she's okay or something like he asked that question which is like that's a fair fucking question asking him how he's not going to break her heart because you have three other women is not a fair question because you just can't answer that asking then- her if you do let her go and then, yeah, he was like, I'm not going to give you my blessing if I haven't talked to my daughter yet. So, like, sorry. <laughs> right, exactly. And, yeah. and but then, like, for the most part, it seemed like he came out of it like, OK, look, I she is clearly head over heels. Like, that is clear as day. If she's head, head over heels, like, whatever, I'll be OK with it you know yeah exactly he said if if you like him or if that's what you want then like uh, that's what i want too <laughs> right much. exactly yeah. exactly so you know ended up being good um you know then serene goes home which like i said it was either her or gabby and after watching was, the group the hometown dates i, I was I actually know. not that surprised I was kind of surprised, though. I mean, I guess, like, Serene's brother and, like, his response to everything was, like, a little bit off. But I was still kind of surprised that, like, Gabby stayed over Serene. I honestly was. I don't know why. Like, I love Gabby. She definitely is going to go to Bachelor in Paradise. But, like, I definitely was surprised by that. Yeah. I I think Serene is a better match for him than Gabby is. But it's just because he wants to bang Gabby, I think. Like, that's what it kind of boils down to at this point, is we know he had sex with all of them. I think he's having a pretty strategic thing, though, where, like, I think he has two girls that he already is very, that are very good Yeah, Susie and Rachel. Right, so he can pick the, he can pick, I'm saying he can pick the outlier and be like, okay, let's just see if this is fun. Because I already had two girls that I'm great with. Serene, I am good with two more than Gabby, but is Gabby more fun? She's a cheerleader. She's an NFL cheerleader. Who the hell knows? I oh, like, I don't know. I, I can't, I'd get canceled if I said what I wanted to say, but <laughs> whatever. Like, I think, I think don't Clayton's say like it. A, I think he's a weird enough guy where like, the deciding factor might have been the cancer thing. You know, like he was like, I feel really bad. I can't just send her home now. 
Oh, I don't think that's that bad. I don't know. Because I think it was Serene and her Gabby were like kind of right here. Both right here, right? Obviously, Susie and Rachel are up here. They're both like right here. And it was yeah. like, oh my God, after seeing those those cards and their dad pull up and went through cancer right now. And, and Serene said didn't even show up. Like <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. So like, <laughs> and then he was just like, you know, when it comes from a dad, obviously brothers, it's different, but like I feel like when it comes from a dad, it's like, okay, this is stern. I get this. Then when it comes from a brother, it's kind of like, uh, dick. Why would I listen to you? You know what I mean, though. So it's yeah, like, right. Yeah, you're so, right. So he's like, he's like sitting. There I don't know though. Like, I don't know though because like the older you get, the more you respect your siblings. Like for sure, for sure. No, because for like, sure. if my sister, especially now, even though she says like, we all know that I've been like still low key hanging out with my ex, but I I tell her about that and she's like, key. she's like, you're a fucking idiot, Katie. Like, and I'm just like, I'm not getting my feelings involved, Cassie. Like, don't worry about it. But she's like, hey, you're a fucking idiot, but like spill the tea. Like, what's been going on? Right. You know? Exactly. Like, she'll she'll tell me and like I respect her opinion, but I'm not gonna like pop, you know, like I still respect her opinion about it. No, for sure. I'm not saying yeah. that you're not, but I'm saying like if I went and met, you know, because the brother it's always i gotta be kind of a dick as a show i'm the brother the dad it's like no this is how i am right it is or it isn't i'm gonna tell you straight up like Susie's dad isn't a dick at all and he so wasn't like trying a macho to be a dick thing i guess i don't know i don't have an older brother so i don't really get it but Susie's dad yeah. wasn't a dick at all because that you just got what it, you got that's who he is right so that's what it is and then i don't think serene's brother was a dick i think he was just honest and i think that made yeah Clinton, like be like I think he was honest and it made Clayton think like, oh, actually, you're probably Uh-oh. right, to be honest. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Right. Like, like, honestly, you're probably right. Like, maybe I was yeah. Because like, I mean, you're you're on the show. Right. And you you put everything in front of you. People are like, how do you fall right. in love so quick? You're forced to fall in love so quick. Right. You're you in a to. bubble. Yeah. yeah you, you're everything bubble. is taken away from you. Your entire focus is this relationship and building. Exactly. It and Everything's and about put, it. It's all you're about competing. Yeah, you're competing. It's, it's a competition you're going for something. Of it, like, God. if you don't fall in love, it's like, why was I here? And it's like everything has to times by like five in terms of a uh, real life. So I like could one like week never is like, do that shit ever, but I would like do it to months. secure the bag, aka the Neil Diamond ring or Neil Lane yeah. ring. Neil and Lane. I would tolerate three years of a relationship in order to keep it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, is that the rule? You have to. I think so. Oh, you have to stay okay. with the person for like, I think it, it might be two years now, but I think it's three years. You have to stay with them for three years. And if you don't, then you have to give the ring back. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. You already have your plan for when you go on, but um, there's no way. <laughs> so Serene goes home. So it's kidding. final three. So kind of, I'm so happy they're doing the final rose and the tell all Monday, Tuesday. Don't have to wait. Wait, so it's the finale next week? And the tell-all. And the after back back. When, Monday, wait, Tuesday. No, no. So it's the women tell-all, it's the finale, and then after the final rose. It's all done in two days. Yes. Oh, okay. Great. I'm so yeah. excited for the women tell-all. Oh, my Me God. Me too. That's going to be awesome. It's like, going to be awesome. Because you, I so forgot the, who's the one. Who's the first bitch that Cassidy. was like kind of. Yeah, she comes back, which people yeah. kind of, I did forget about. Well, because Shanae needs a backup. I bet you Shanae was like, I'm not coming unless I have my girl Cassidy with there with me, like her sidekick. Like they got to They have to have each other to back each other up, which I think that, is a fair thing for the producers to do, honestly, because otherwise sure. it would be literally Shanae versus everyone. And that's kind of fucked up, like for sure. But also all the girls like Genevieve and Elizabeth and all them who were like kind of trying to walk the tightrope to not piss Clayton off are going to let loose now. What the hell did they like? Yeah. They don't they're gonna now, let you know? loose on Clayton too. Like it's yeah, that, gonna be for sure. great. For sure. It's gonna for be sure. great. So like it is hopefully we great. too can find out maybe if like some of them are in Bachelor in Paradise. I don't know, but so you know the one guy said it's gonna be the craziest ending in whatever history. What do we think they're gonna announce the Bachelorette? I don't think so. I haven't heard anything because that normally it's when they do. Like right. it's at the end of the seasons. And, and normally reality, Steve already like knows it. Yeah, true. 
And he hasn't said anything. I haven't heard anything about the next Bachelorette. Or they don't really like make it a secret as much anymore. They don't really announce it in the last show like they traditionally have. But I think they no, should the nor- do that again because it's so much more exciting to find it out live. Than I feel like-, like normally it's like it's out there and open. And then it's like our first interview with our next Bachelorette. You know what I mean? That like was, it's like- that's been recent, though. Before that, they literally never said anything until it was announced on After the Final well, Rose. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe I know. They need doing. to go back to the way it's always been they need to go back to the roots like yeah because you remember like literally <laughs> one like, bachelor season was, bachelorette when, bachelor in paradise that's it <laughs> even when before clayton was voted off like everyone pretty much knew he was going to be the next bachelor yeah he was announced a bachelor yeah before the end of michelle's season so they yeah. knew that he wasn't gonna like make it right it's just a, um, mat- a matter of how far is he going to make it <laughs> Which kind of, yeah, it's like, all right, you already know he's leaving. Uh, Yeah, so do you think he's with anyone? Do you think he is maybe dating someone? Or do you think he's completely single? Um, I think, so we had the preview of The Ring. Uh, I, I don't know. I wish, I kind of hope that there is some drama where, like, nothing is determined by the end of the episode, but I think he might end up getting to engage to, like, Rachel or something. So, like, the pilot Pete situation kind of thing? Yeah, where it's, like, kind of all up. Yeah. I don't know. He There's Wait, that preview of the ring, too. though. I have to say this though. Rachel's dad being like, yeah, what if she just wants to move to Europe? You have to, you got to go with her. And it's like, okay, buddy. Like, that is a pretty, like, crazy ass though. You aren't asking him to like, if she wants to be, I, I let me finish up. It, it, it's it her like career. Asking, I get that. But like, it's not like ask, like, I guarantee if Clayton said, I'm moving to Europe, Rachel, you get to come with me. Her dad wouldn't be like, yeah, you should go. You, he would do it for you. If That's they're getting married, she has to. Well, I mean, if they're getting they're married, engaged, if, either of the, if they're getting married, they should. Either of them don't go. But pretty crazy. But I, I don't know. I think the most likely scenario is, is like you said, I think it would probably comes down to Gabby and Rachel. I do think Susie will remove herself if someone does do that. Yeah, I because think I think she's Susie the only would. one that like would feel that hard about that thing. And also, I don't think Rachel would remove herself. I don't know if Gabby, like, I think Gabby's just in the middle. Like, I don't know if she thinks she's surely going to win. Who knows? But I would say the only person I could see her him still with would be Rachel. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I was saying Rachel, Rachel. She's obsessed with him. That's why. Mm-hmm. Like, she's mm-hmm. just literally like obsessed do, with him, but yeah. They do get along, though. Like, it wouldn't be a bad choice for him. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be a good choice for him. But, like, I think Susie has, like, different morals than people who sh- probably should come on this show. Kind of the Madison Pruitt one. Like, it's like you're on the bachelor and you expect him to like not touch another girl. Like that's just a tough ask. I'm going to be honest, like grow up girl. (laughs) Right. Exactly. And it's like, well, you had sex. Have you ever met a man in his twenties in your life? Like get real. (laughs) But also like you're in this like Instagram age and on the bachelor, you're one of the most trending people every Monday night. You think he's just sitting back and going to be like, no, actually I'm saving myself for marriage. So it's like, if you're her, it's probably like, maybe you shouldn't go on the show and expect to like actually work it out. Um, same with Susie, I guess. I mean, you know, Susie could, we could be totally wrong and Susie could have told him an ultimatum or something and it didn't work out or something, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. We'll find out, but yeah. But all right. We'll see everyone next week. Uh, yeah, sorry. Do two my episodes. mom just tried no, you're calling good, you're me. Good. <laughs> you're good. Uh, Katie's got to go, but all right. We'll see everyone next week. Yes. See everybody next week. <laughs>